Okay, here we go. Let's tell everybody what we're doing today. You don't like my hat? You, you want me to? Here, give me the hat. Okay, here you go. Okay, can you hold the car for me? There you go. Hold it steady. Everybody, Larry here, Box Cars Garage. So I've got my number one helper here, Holden. We are going to dive into this old crusty 36 and try to make something happen. Thought you might want to check it out. So let's go. Okay, so to kick this off, I need to create some space to where I can get to this um, exterior panel better on both sides. And that's going to happen when I get this out of my way. I've only got pinch welds along the sides. There isn't enough of the sides left on this one to be an issue. It's actually already free. Um, this side is still connected to the body metal, so I've got to separate that. And there might be some pinch welds that's happened um, in this area. And it's where it um, attaches to the uh, inner support for the spare tire mount. So I've got to figure out where that's at get this thing up and out of my way and then I can start doing some work on this body metal and uh, we'll just take it one piece at a time.
So this is where I'm probably going to leave it for this weekend. We're running out of time. And um, you'll see there's two panels here in this area. And they overlap each other in this general area right here. So I haven't went and cut the parent metal out, as you can see. And, um, and cut in this new panel. I just got it sitting here in an overabundance of Calicos. Um, I don't know why I thought uh, two and a half inch separation would be good and anyway it's way too much but uh, anywho um, that's what we've got when I get this panel fitted up and make sure that these two play together well then I'll be ready to go ahead and cut the uh, the old metal out and stitch this panel back in and um, I would expect to do that probably as soon as I get this small piece done but to get this small piece done this was it was crushed um, and I have straightened it out but it is still out of shape and it needs to be cut out and it needs to be kind of metal worked in order to get it back in its original shape and then uh, I need to make a template off of that because this template right here um, is just not right. It gets really weird down here. It's not supposed to be crushed down in there. So this has got to have some repair. This was unaffected. Um, so I felt comfortable in going ahead and building up to this point right here. Um, pretty much the damage was in, you see this uh, raised area right here it was kind of pancaked out and I had to open it back up and anyway it kind of kept itself here in this in this lower area so that is what I'm gonna do when I come back maybe we'll go ahead and get it all stitched in when I come back as well but uh, that's where we're gonna go ahead and leave it it's sitting really good um, up in the wheel wells and my my recessed areas are pretty close you know like 85 percent close um, but it's definitely in the right ballparks um, to where they needed to be for the um, the bolt connections and it will set a lot better against the wheel well once the parent metal gets cut out and it's able to push in and set in right now it's kind of bumping out on you know the other um, the other notches and whatnot so it's not laying as flat as it can uh, in the future so Anyway, let me go ahead and spin you around here, and we will sign this one off. Okay, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've only got like, I don't know, three or four significant uh, patch panels really in my past. And uh, so I'm definitely learning as I go along and um, trying to improve when I can. I think this is going to weld in just fine. And um, I don't think it's going to be all that obvious that it's not original metal. Um, I really don't know why I'm going. I could have done this a lot simpler than what I did. Um, these details would probably be more justified in a car that's going to get brought up, you know, to the full, you know, 9%. But um, I don't think this car's ever going to make it to that, um, you know, 9 or 10%. But um, I thought. Uh, for the sake of exercise, it would be, you know, worthwhile for me to try to copy this as it exists on the original metal. So that's what I did. Um, I didn't have to do um, a lot of forming. Uh, the majority of forming was here in this uh, curved area in the wheel well. And I just had to like stretch it and I had enough things to beat it over um, in order to get the shape that I needed. I didn't uh, need a lot of fancy tools. I think I used the shrinker like once on a couple of my edges um, that got kind of drawn up from the bead roller. My um, bead roller worked out great. I haven't used it a lot yet, but um, I use a, a nylon step die setup and um, it worked pretty good. I wish I would have bought it in a steel set of dies because I'm already noticing some wear on the ones that I used the other day but uh, anyway I could 
upgrade down the road. You see this area here at the four dots? That's just let me know. That's where the um, rivets are for this uh, cross beam. And um, I need to do some repair on that on the other side. I don't know if I'm going to just swap it out completely or if I'm going to try to save that and run that. We will uh, we'll worry about that later. That's pretty much all I've got for this one. Happy with how it turned out. Glad that we are uh, looking at it stuck to the car. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, had a lot of subscribers happening in the past like three months and it's getting us close to a thousand. I think um, I'm at like 890 right now. So we will see what happens in the future. We'll keep the content coming to you and I appreciate you for being here. Catch you later.